In the last video you learned how to create a Java module and why the concept of modules is important for any project because it encourages code reuse across projects. So the way we you know the way we added a Java module in a similar fashion you can also add an Android module. Now you might be wondering why do I need to add an Android module? So the reason can be that Android module has like the resource files, like the layout files, the XML files and stuff, which can be used across different projects. Okay. So adding an Android module is pretty simple. Um, and what like what I did is I created a new project, Android project, and I called it Android module demo. This project is available in GitHub. And what happens is after I created this project, I went ahead and I created a new <coughs> module. Okay, so new module, and then you can use the Android library. Basically, you can select Android library, click on next, give whatever name you want to, and then what happens is Android generates the component. So I created a new utility, which you can see here, and if you see, it has a few files which are auto generated, like you have the resource files strings xml you have the manifest file you have some java files so and for example it, it generates the test file and you know so you can add uh, various components you can add layouts you can add um, java class files in this uh, you can add activities you can add fragments and the best part is you can reuse this across your other android projects so that's the way you can add an Android module to your project. So go ahead and try it out. The code is available on GitHub. I'll share the link in this video. And I hope this clarifies the concept of modules and how you can add a Java module and an Android module to your project. Okay.